Hey, welcome everybody. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, and we are here with a 2019 game between the Phillies and the Mets. It's going to be Vince Velasquez facing Jason Vargas in uh, City Field. The Mets are 14 and 9. The Phillies are 10 and 13. And let's get this thing going. We're going to be using replay baseball to keep rosters and stats and standings and all that fun stuff so I don't have to – I can play more, roll more games, which is what I love to do. I, before I get started and go over the lineups real quickly, I just wanted to touch on the fact that uh, you get 30 cards per set, uh, per team set, and then you get, of course, a set that you can print out. Uh, this is uh, primarily a PDF set. I don't know if you would reach out to Brian uh, at the Delphi Forum if he would be willing to print it out you know, at, at cost or whatever, at uh, whatever uh, – additional costs. And then um, you get these, which are good to create your own cards. So if you need these outlier guys that you want, like John Smith, uh, then you could draw them up and write them out and create them. And what I do is I just look at a player that batted similarly and uh, and I just recreate. I've created a couple of cards that I need. And that's about it. I just wanted to add that. So if you need more players, that's pretty easy to do. And uh, the lineup for the Phillies is going to be McCutcheon in left, leading off. Real Muto, the catcher, batting second. Batting third is Bryce Harper. And they signed him for 10 years for a chunk of change. Reese Hoskins, the first baseman, batting cleanup. Batting fifth is Michael Franco, the third baseman. Batting sixth is Cesar Hernandez, the second baseman. Batting seventh is Sean Rodriguez, the shortstop. Vince Velasquez is in the eighth hole, the pitcher, and uh, uh, Quinn, can't remember his first name. Roman. Roman Quinn batting ninth for the Phillies. So let's get this thing going. Let's get it underway. And uh, here's the first pitch from Vargas. So we're going to roll a 2d6, and we read the lower one first. And that's going to be a 4-4. We look at Vargas, and that is a base on ball. So McCutcheon trots on down to first, and we got our face, our first base runner of the game. JT Real Mutsu is next. That's a 16. A 16 is a blank, and a 16 is a fly ball. It's going to be a fly out to the center fielder. Ligaris. We got McNeil in left, Ligaris in center, and Conforto in right. One away. And uh, I've got an additional uh, little scoreboard here that I'm keeping for the score and inning and all that. Here's Bryce Harper, left handed batter against the lefty throwing. Vargas, and you can find that right here. You can see that he's a lefty. His number, um, he's a starting pitcher. Stamina is 22. That means he can face 22 batters. Here's the pitch. Say 44 again, and that's going to be another walk off of Jason Vargas. So he's having trouble locating the strike zone here early on in the top of the first inning with only one out. The Mets have runners on – the Phils have runners on – first and second, and that's what the Mets are dealing with. Reese Hoskins, the cleanup hitter, he's a right-handed hitter. Batted 226 with 29 home runs. Here's a pitch. It's a 33, and a 33 is a blank, and that's a drive. That's going to go over the center fielder's head. Ligaris plays it off the, the base of the wall, and one run scores, and will they try to score Harper with one out? They may, and he's a four-speed. You know what? They're going to hold him up. So the – Phils are on the board first, one nothing. It's an RBI double for Reese Hoskins. And Michael Franco is up now with runners on second and third. And the Mets are going to play uh, the infield in on this. So let's see what happens. Here is the pitch. I got some homebrew infield in rules. Um, here's the pitch. It's a 1-2. That's a blank. And a ground ball advance. A ground ball advance will allow the runner to advance here and to score. So he's going to take it. He's going to take it to. Uh, I would have to pull up the rules. I just wrote them this morning. Uh, let me see if I can bring up those rules real quick. Um, let's see. 
you can go to the Delphi on base uh, Del, uh, Delphi on base group and um, you can check up on stuff like this let's see let's go to Delphi real quick let's go there let's find on base and I'm gonna look at those rules made a lot of sense when I wrote them up I all right let's see all right let's go back And fueled in. All right. So uh, on base, I mean, it's about things like defensive. Uh, he's got something here. He's got something else. I did mine. I shared mine. Let me see his. His is good too. Mine is pretty simple. I think probably simpler. Okay, straight ground out is a fielder's choice. Ground out advance is a throw to home. I didn't, I didn't uh, clarify. It's going to be, I guess, a fielder's choice at home. Um, double play roll. So this is going to be a – they, they throw home. We can elect to throw home, and, uh, and we – no, this is automatic. So the throw home, he is safe, and that's a fielder's choice. Nobody out. So they put the tag down too late, and there's no throw to first. So let's get all that into our game. So basically, this one, this this role in particular, and and we're testing it out. So it's going to be a fielder's choice. Let's do that. Fielder's choice, and it'll go. Uh, who threw that home? It'll be the shortstop. It's going to go uh, six to two is the play, but nobody's out. So let's just write fielder's choice. Let's cancel that out. Right, a field is choice, and everybody's safe. He's safe at home. Runner moves to third, and batter's safe at first. So still only one out, and runner's on first and third now. And here is Cesar Hernandez against Jason Vargas. 2 nothing here in the top of the first for the Phils. So let, now we got some stuff to write. All right, we got the visiting team scored two runs, and there's still only one out. Let's do it. Here's the pitch. And the infield this time is going to be halfway. Corners are going to be in, say, 3-6. Three, 3-6 six. Three, six is going to be a blank, and the 3-6 is going to be a fly ball. And we could test the uh, – who is that ball? That ball is to the right fielder. We could test Conforto's arm, but with Hoskins, we're not going to do that. Two outs. And next up is Sean Rodriguez. Here's a pitch, and that is a 2-5. Two 2-5 five. Two five is a blank, and a 2-5 is a fly ball center field. Uh, and that retires the side. So three outs, and we go to the bottom of the first inning. But the Phillies are up 2 nothing, just like that. They get to Vargas early. Those two walks came back to haunt them. And here's Jeff McNeil against Vince Velasquez. Here's the pitch. It's a 2-4. Two 2-4 four. Two four is a blank, and a 2-4 is going to be a strikeout. So he swings and misses at a slider, and McNeil goes down on strikes. Here's Michael Conforto batting second, and that's a 3-6 this time. That's a blank, and a 3-6 is a fly ball to right field, two away. Right there is Bryce Harper. And now it's a 35, and a 35 is strike three, and Robbie Cano swings and misses. And he goes down on strikes to retire the side. So we go to the top of the second inning. Uh, there we go. Top of the second inning, 2 nothing fills. It's going to be the pitcher. Up oh, Here's the pitch from Velasquez. It's a 15, and 15 is a blank, and that's grounded to the shortstop. Rosario, who throws out Velasquez, one away. So this game plays pretty fast. Next batter, we roll a 46, and that against Vargas is a ground ball and through the left side, and that should be Roman Quinn. And I don't have his card there. I don't know why. Let's see why I did not. His card should be after the pitcher. Let's see why not. Let's see what I did with that. He does have a card somewhere. Hmm. I did create his card. Hmm. 
thing I was sure I had it here. So, oh, there it is. Look at that. All right, Roman Quinn with a 46. A 46 is a uh, – that was – no, that was to – I don't know what that was, but I got a – ah, okay, leading is one out. So it's one out in the top of the second inning. Roman Quinn is up. A 46 is a base hit to left. So Quinn is on with a single. Is he a threat to steal? Oh, he is a threat to steal. And he's going to try to steal here early in the game. And here's a throw down from the catcher, Wilson Ramos, and he is out. Wilson Ramos throws out a runner. And that's hard to believe. It's going to be 2-4. Two, two outs now. Andrew McCutcheon still up. Here's a pitch. It's a 36. 36 is a blank. And that's a fly ball to center field. Lagaris. And he tracks that down for out number three. We go to the bottom of the second. Wilson Ramos is leading it off against Vince Velasquez. The fills are up. The Phils are up by a score of two to nothing. Here's a pitch. It's a 34. 34 is a blank. And the 34 is line base hit. This would be against a lefty. He's a righty, so that's a single, a double against righties. I'm sorry, against lefties. So he hit more doubles against lefties than he did against uh, righties, I guess, percentage wise, right? Percentage wise. So that's a base hit. Laces one to left center field, and Ramos is on with a single. And here's Dominic Smith. It's a left-hander. It's a 35, a 35 is a blank, and that is strike three. One down. And here's Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier had a three-run blast in the second game of the series. He just joined the Mets in this series. It's 24. 24 is a blank, and a 24 is a fly ball. Fly ball to left for out number two. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Velasquez checks the sign, sets and deals. And it's a 16. A 16 is a blank, and that's a fly ball to Roman Quinn in center. And that retires the side. We go to the top of the third inning. All right, it's going to be JT Real Muto leading it off, and that's a 12. A 12 is a ground ball. This one is bounced to the shortstop. Rosario, who waits back now, charges, fires on the run, and just gets the speedy Real Muto, one of the faster catchers in the league. Next up is Bryce Harper. He settles in the box. That's from the left side, and that's going to be a 36, and that is a fly ball deep to right center field, and back goes... The center fielder, Ligaris and Conforto, and it is Ligaris. Two down. And here comes Hoskins. Snake eyes, and that's a blank there, and it's going to be a drive down the line into the left field corner, and McNeil's going to play it off the carom. Hoskins digging for two. Here's the throw, and he is safe with a two-out double. Michael Franco with the runner on second and two outs in the top of the third inning. Here's a pitch from Vargas. That's a 55, and that's a blank on Vargas. And you go over to Franco, and that's lined and caught by the shortstop. Rosario went up for it and brought it back down, L6. So we'll go to the bottom of the third inning now. It's going to be Juan Ligaris leading it off against Vince Velasquez. That's a 56. 56 is a blank, and that is a swing and a miss. He fans Ligaris for out number one. Next up is the pitcher, Vargas, lefty. It's a 66, a blank there, and that is a deep drive off the bat of Vargas, and that's going to be off the wall. Just missed a home run by a couple of feet. And Vargas is in at second base with a double. Next up is Jeff McNeil. Runner on second, one out. 
Mets are down two to one in the bottom of the third inning. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. That's a 22. 22 is a deep drive off the bat of McNeil. He got a hold of that. Drives it deep to right center field. Back goes Harper. Back goes Quinn. They look up, and that's out of here. Game is tied. Jeff McNeil with a blast, a two-run blast that I believe is his, and I'll tell you what, what it is in a second. That is his, uh, da, 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 his seventh home run of the year. Right place at the right time. And here's Michael Conforto. So we're going to give the Mets a couple of runs. It's all tied at two. One out in the bottom of the third. And that's a, that's a 34. And that is a deep drive off the bat of Conforto. Back goes Harper to the track, to the wall. And that's out of here. Three to two. Mets, Michael Conforto drives a Velasquez hanging slider deep to right field. And the score now is three to two Mets. That was Conforto's eighth home run of the season. All right, Robbie Cano. Here's a pitch. It's a 34, and that is... Driven down the line into the right center field, and that well, no, in the right field corner, and that's Harper. He plays the carom, and Cano is going to go into second base and stop there with a one out double. So out comes the manager to speak to Vince Velasquez. Was it Girardi in 2019 or not yet? I'm not sure, can't remember. So that's uh, one, two, three, what, three hits in a row, I believe, right? It's a, it was a double, a home run, a home run, and a double. Four hits in a row off of Vargas, off of Velasquez, Vince Velasquez. And um, here's Wilson Ramos. Here's a pitch from Velasquez, and that is a 24. 24 is a blank, and that is going to be a swing and a miss. That's the second out of the inning, so Ramos chases and let's get some more information. Here is a 4-2 to two game right now. Oh, no, it's still a 3-2 game. That's right. Still 3-2 to two game. Excuse me. Two outs. And here's Dom Smith with a 46. So 46 is a blank. And that is a drive. And that's going to split the outfielders and roll to the wall. Cano, they're waving him home. Throw is cut off. And Dominic Smith drives in Robbie Cano. With a two-out double, and the Mets go up four to two. Todd Frazier. Here's a pitch. It's a 33. That's a blank, and that's a deep drive off Frazier. <laughs> Got a hold of that. He unloaded on that one. McCutcheon to the track, to the wall. That's a two-run home run. And the Mets now lead it six to two, and that's it. Yeah, out comes the manager. So, yes, sir, -y. that 33 did it. So they're going to have to bring a new pitcher, and who's it going to be? I don't know who's available. Let me quickly look at the roster. Right, in this game, this is early. Gave up six runs in the bottom of the third. The Mets are up 6-2. to two. Early pitching change. And it's going to be uh, Dominguez, Neshek, Nicasio. There's a lot of guys I don't have. Because you know how it, the league is with pitchers nowadays. I know I have Norris, but Norris is a, uh, uh, let's see. <sighs> so I have them all down here at the bottom. All right. Nicasio is available. All right. So I'm going to have to. Juan Nicasio is going to come in. You know what? I'm going to hold off bringing in Nicasio because I, it's really early. So let me see if I can just get any one more out in this inning. And that's a two run blast. So the Mets are up six to two now. So Velasquez is going to pitch to Rosario. 
That's a 15, and that is a ground ball up the middle and through in the center field for a base hit. Wow. Okay, so he's he's tired now. So you know, at this point, you gotta that would a double would become a home run, and a K would become a a base on balls. I got to get him out, but that's going to require me to. Uh, let's see. We're going to try to get two innings out of uh, two and a third innings out of Nicasio. Let's see if we can do that. We're not going to pull a. Let me see who comes up in the. Who's up? It's the bottom of the order. So Nicasio would bat. We're going to let him bat. Uh, we're down 6 2. This is tough. It's early in the game for this to happen. Again, we're going to wait. We got to wait. We got to wait this through. We don't, unless I start writing, creating pitchers. And I'm not totally wanting to do that right now. So, again, Velasquez just allowed a hit. And here's Juan Ligaris. And that's a 23. And a 23 is a blank. And a 23 is a ground ball. It could be an error. Let's see who it's to. It's to the shortstop. Shortstop Sean Rodriguez. And he is, no, he's a plus. He, wait, that's his speed. He is a plus defensively, so it won't be an error. He'll make the play. He, so Sean Rodriguez gets to the ball at the middle, flips to Hernandez, covering the bag, and that is a fielder's choice. And we go to the top of the fourth inning. So that's important that he was able to get out of that, that to get that last out. All right, so... We go to the top of the fourth, and it's going to be Cesar Hernandez versus Jason Vargas, who has a little bit of a lead now. That's a 24. 24 is a base on balls. So Hernandez walks. That's ex not exactly what you want to see right after you've taken that. You scored six runs and taken a four to two, a uh, uh, six to two lead, or a four run lead. So here's Sean Rodriguez against Jason Vargas. Rodriguez bats from the right side. Here's a pitch, and it's a a 56 of 56 will be a strikeout. So a swing and a miss by Rodriguez. And that is one down. And next up is the pitcher. And this is where we're going to bring in a pinch hitter. And then we'll bring in Nicasio. So we can hopefully we can get three innings out of him. That would be a perfect world. Let me see who could hit here. Ah, Goslin's going to pinch hit. Bill Goslin. We created him out of somebody else, out of uh, Kingery's card. Scott Kingery is not on the roster as, as of yet. Basically the same guy. I didn't have to change anything. All right. Um, so Phil Goslin. He's called on to pinch hit here in the top of the fourth inning with one out. And here's a pitch from Vargas. And that's a 44. And a 44 is going to be a base on balls. So that's the fourth of the fifth walk allowed by Vargas. And Vargas is gone. Let's see how many batters he's faced already because he's having a rough time of it. He's pit, he's walked four batters today. He's faced 17. He can go 22. We're not going to pull him yet. Remember, we don't get every pitching card, so we have to be a little bit more conservative than normal. If I had 10 pitches in the bullpen, sure, I'd pull him right away. Here's Quinn, Roman Quinn. Switch hitter. That's a 35. A 35 is a blank, and that's strike three, and he gets Quinn swinging for out number two. And here's Andrew McCutcheon. It's a 23. 23 is a blank, and a 23 is a ground ball. To the shortstop, Rosario flips to second, and that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the fourth now. All right. It's going to be new pitcher. It's going to be Nicasio. Definitely need more pitchers than this to, to run a modern game. In the old, in, you know, in the old days, uh, not so much because you only really brought in one relief pitcher or two. But if you get beat up early on in the game and you've been using the pitchers for the last three games, 
and you're using like a, a stat keeper that, that tracks fatigue, you know, all these pitchers are not going to be available to you. So you're going to have to create, use these cards. They got some uh, pitcher, uh, uh, pitcher blank cards that you can write in all the pitchers that you have. Like I could write in Pat Neshek. I could even show you how to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's, I think that wouldn't be a bad little little thing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for the next video. I'll do that one after this one rather than going. So we're in a, in a decent game right now, uh, it's, relatively speaking. still only the bottom of the fourth inning. And Vargas is up, and we're going to let Vargas bat. Pitch from Nicasio. Say 15, and that is a ground ball. Bounce to the shortstop Rodriguez, who makes the throw for out number one. Next is Jeff McNeil. It's a 26. That's a blank. And that is bounced up the middle and through for a base hit, played by Roman Quain, and gets it into Cesar Hernandez. So McNeil is on it first. He stole five bases, caught six times. Not going to go. It's too early in the season. Snake Eyes. It's a blank on Nicasio, and that's a drive. And that's going to split the outfielders and roll to the wall. Harper plays it off the wall. McNeil is going to stop. He is not very fast. So if there are two outs, you get a boost. I give him a plus three boost. So McNeil is going to stop at 30. at second and third again. So the Mets really brought their, their – Put their hitting boots on this morning. And uh, it's going to be Robbie Cano. They're going to walk, intentionally walk Robbie Cano. And uh, it's going to pitch to Wilson Ramos. We're going to bring the corners in, infield halfway. We're looking for that double play. Here's a pitch from Nicasio. That's a 16. That may do it. No, nope, it's a fly ball. And that's going to be deep enough to get a runner in. Comforto is also going to tag. So it's going to be a sack fly. Oh, let's do this in the details section. Fly ball, center field. One run comes home. Other run tags up to third. And we'll roll again on a one or a two. We'll tag up from, from first. Nope. So that's going to be uh, another run for the Mets. Seven to two now. Conforto goes to third with two outs. Seven to two, two outs. Bottom of the fourth, here's Dominic Smith. So 15, that's a blank there, and that's a base hit. Lines one to right. That'll score Conforto. Cano is going to stop at second base, even though there's two outs. Just going to don't want to get thrown out. He's a, he's a veteran now who really doesn't have the speed that he once did. Here's Todd Frazier with runners on first and second. Eight to two ball game. Mets are up. Pitch 23. 23 is a blank, and the 23 is grounded out. Oh, it could be a could be an error. That's going to be to the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And will that be an error? I know it depends. Oh, it is going to be an error. He bobbles it, and everybody's safe. Bases are loaded. E3. So Reese Hoskins makes an error. Not good. Not good numbers on his uh, fielding. Advanced metrics fielding rating or data and uh the thing about this game is certain a few things that plays right off the data which is kind of cool it makes it simple um so the bases are loaded now with two outs bases loaded two outs eight to two mets and here comes ahmed rosario here's a pitch from juan Acasio. it's a four six and that is a blank there and that's going to be strike three and uh why do i have frazier up that should be rosario and Rosario strikes out to, to end the inning. And the Mets leave the bases loaded. We go to the top of the fifth. Eight to two Mets. Bryce Harper. No, it's JT Real Mucho leading it off. Against Jason Vargas. Here's a pitch. It's a 1-4, and that is a drive. Pull down the line into left field corner. Pass McNeil. McNeil plays the carom. Digging for second is Real Muto. Here's a throw, and he is safe with a leadoff double. So Real Muto doubles to lead off the top of the fifth inning. It's a 15, a blank, and that is grounded. Two. Uh, nope, it's not grounded, but it's popped up. I'm going to pop up to the catcher. 
So one out. That ground ball was foul, and here comes Reese Hoskins. Here's a pitch at 23. That's a blank. And a 23 is a ground out again. This one's going to be right back to Vargas, and that'll be out number two. We will allow Ramuto to move over on that. We're up by a lot, and uh, we're not worried about him. We just want to get the out. I'm not even going to look at him. So here comes Franco, Michael Franco, with two outs and a run around third for the Phils here at the top of the fifth. This is my little scoreboard here. You can see that. That's up eight to two. There are two outs, so let's do that. And here's a pitch from Vargas. It's a 25, and that's a blank, and that is a fly ball to right field, and Conforto calls it, makes the catch, and that retires the side to go to the bottom of the fifth. Leading off is Todd Frazier, the Todd father. Oh, no, excuse me. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so I don't know what happened, but uh, it's Ligaris leading off. Got some names mixed up, so okay. Not the end of the world. Cards were in order. It's just I don't know what happened. I, they got must have gotten out of order. All right, Nicasio against Ligaris, bottom of the fifth. It's a 66. That's a blank there, and that's a deep drive off the bat of Ligaris. And McCutcheon goes back to the track to the wall. That's out of here. Nine to two. So the Mets are tearing the cover off the ball. They've got three or four home runs so far. Let me see how many home runs that is. That was Ligaris' first home run of the season. McNeil's got one. Conforto's got one. Frazier's got one. And now Ligaris got one. That's four home runs by the Mets in this game. And here's the pitcher of Vargas, and that is uh, that's going to be it for Vargas is gone. Let's see, Vargas is gone. 23 batters. He can go 22. We're going to try to squeeze one more inning out of Vargas. Just less headache for me. Here's a pitch from Nicasio. It's a 45. 45 is a blank. And 45 is a fly ball. And this is the right fielder Harper running in, and he makes the catch. One down. Jeff McNeil. How's McNeil doing today? McNeil is two for three today with two RBIs and a home run. His seventh of the year. Here's a pitch from Nicasio. So, oh, he's tired already, Nicasio. So I got to start reading. Uh, but he has no tired uh, result for some reason. I don't have to worry about it. That's a 34. 34 is a blank. And that's a deep drive off McNeil. This is going to be his second home run of the day. Holy smokes. And the Mets have taken a 10 to 2 lead. And it's a home run flat, home run, and McNeil hits the second of the day. Here comes Michael Conforto. And it's a 66, a blank, and that's strike three. Two out now. And here comes Robbie Cano. It's a 25, 25 is a blank, and that's a fly ball. Left field, McCutcheon in the corner, and he comes up with it to end the inning. But the Mets pick up a couple more. They lead a 10 to 2. We go to the top of the sixth inning. And pretty much, um, I mean, that's that's it for this game. I don't want to keep on going with it. Uh, you get the picture. Mets have just blasted the heck out of the ball, they pounded that ball, that they tore the, the hide off of it. They've got five home runs here. Uh, and it's the top of the sixth inning with the Phillies up. Uh, let's just play one more inning in case the Phillies start scoring a ton of runs. Let's just in case. You never know. 45, that's a blank. And a 45 is a fly ball. It's going to be the center field. Ligaris is over, puts it away. So Hernandez flies out. And here's Sean Rodriguez. Pitch from Vargas. And it's a 16. And a 16 is going to be a skies it to Ligaris, who charges in. And he... Runs it down. And here's the pitcher. Was, now it's the pitcher, and we're pulling Nicasio because he's been getting clobbered. And we're going to bring in a righty. Uh, who do we got? Who do we got on the bench? It's going to be uh, Altair. And I've had to create a card for Altair, and I, I wrote it in with pen, so you can do that as well. You just grab a similar batter and, 
And if the batter that you're grabbing has like, you know, a lot more strikeouts, then you would, of course, uh, reduce the strikeout. Instead of having three numbers of strikeouts, you'd have only two numbers of strikeouts, that sort of thing. So it's not hard to do. It's just common sense. Pretty simple to do. And you'll get, you know, you'll get realistic results. And plus, you learn how to make uh, cards. So uh, Aaron Altair is going to pinch hit. Here's the pitch from Vargas, a 34. And that is a fly ball deep to left center field. And back goes McNeil. And McNeil's got it to end the inning. All right. So let's see where we're at. We were the bottom of the sixth. And we're going to get a new pitcher. And it's going to be Alvarez. Let's see if we get an inning out of, or two out of Alvarez. And then I got to start making cards because I can't use the same guys all the time every year for the whole series. So yeah, I'm going to have to make cards, start making pitcher cards, which is not a problem. I just have to be aware. All right. So it's going to be uh, Ramos leading off for the Mets in the bottom of the sixth inning. Say 26. That's a blank, and that's grounded. To the shortstop Rodriguez, who throws out, who easily throws out Ramos, lobs the ball to first. Ramos does not run well. He's known as the Buffalo 56. And that's a Alvarez 56 is a blank, and that's strike three on Dominic Smith. He swings and misses at a high fastball. And uh, Smith was uh, two for four. Now comes should be Todd Frazier now. And it is. All right, here's Todd Frazier. Frazier on the day is a one for three with a two run home run. A pitch from Alvarez. It's a 16. 16 is a blank, and that is a fly to left field. McCutcheon makes the catch to retire the side. All right, we got Vargas. Try to get him one more inning. Uh, he got to be pulled the minute he gives up a hit. So here's the pitch. He's facing Roman Quinn. And that's a 14, and that is a drive off the bat of Vargas, and that is in the gap. Quinn around first, digging for second. No throw. He's in there standing with a leadoff double, and that's going to be it for Vargas. Now let's see who we're going to replace him with. We're going to bring in Lugo, who hasn't pitched in a while. Uh, not in a game like this. Wait, hold on a second. Back up. We're not doing Lugo here. We're going to bring in a guy named like Samora or Rainey. Guys like that. Let's see if I have. I got Chris Flexen. I don't have a Rainey. But let's see if I have a ring here. I need the. Uh, I got Lockett. I don't have Lockett on my team. I got Zamora. See, these are the guys that have to. I got Drew Gagno. He's not on the team right now either. But they're all pretty much very similar. So my Chris Flexen card. And it, actually, it's real easy to create pictures. Let's compare. Let's let, let, let me do a quick one here. Let me create a quick card. Because pitchers actually just have a couple of uh, a couple of numbers on them versus a batter has a ton of numbers on them. So it's, it's actually easier to create uh, pitchers. But what I'm going to do is go to Baseball Reference. And I'm going to write in 19. That's all right. Now I got their stats. I'm going to look at their pitchers, their relief pitchers, and they got. Uh... Okay, let's see. Who did I need to create? I need to create a guy like Rainey. So let's look at somebody that's like Rainey. Rainey had a, let's see, a whip of 1.9. So now I need to find somebody who has a whip that high. And the closest guy I have is Chris Flexen, He's who has a whip of two. So Flexen is a disaster, and I'm going to create a card for Ramey based on Flexen's card. 
Let's see, Raimi's innings are six innings. Flexton's call innings are 13 innings, which is close enough. And uh, neither is really, they're about the same in walks and about the same in strikeouts. 8.7.1 for one, 8.3 for the other. So this is going to be Jacob Ramey. And Ramey, let's see what he does. He's a righty-righty, right-handed thrower. And that's pretty much, so I'm going to give him my, let's see his home run numbers. Go back compared to, to Flexen. Uh, so Ramey's home run numbers compared to Flexen, he gives up a home run every 1.4. Flexen gives up a home run every 0 0.7. So that's still very close. And so we're gonna we're gonna just manipulate one home run number, not two. That'll be a double. 22 will be a home run. 24 will be a walk. 44 will be a walk. 46 will be a single. And then I got to really look at his splits as well. I got to compare some more splits to see. Actually, this, uh, no, these are top, these are. Fatigued results. So I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to do a home run there. And uh, and a ground out of 56. That's it. Done. So I just created a picture. That simple. All right, it's a terrible pitcher, but I need somebody like that for a game like this. So it's Jacob Ramey. He's actually on the roster, and I'm going to bring him in now. Problem solved. All right, so it's McCutcheon. McCutcheon is up against Jacob Ramey to start the seventh inning. 10 to 2 Mets. And we're going to roll. Let's see. All right, there's a pitch. It's a 23. 23 is a blank, and a 23 is a ground ball. Oh, it's going to be an error on who? On the shortstop. Rosario bobbles it, throw to first, and the cutchin is safe. E6. So both teams have an error. And now at the pitch, 66. That's a blank, and that's a base hit. So Real Muto lines a base hit single to left center field. And I had a runner on base. Oh, it was a double, so that's going to score a runner. So RBI single, McCutcheon is going to stop. It's 10 to 3 now. Nobody out. Top of the seventh. Mets are up. Bryce Harper against Jacob Ramey. 56. 56 is going to be a ground ball. And that's going to be the who? It's going to be a fielder's choice. It's going to be Rosario. Flips to Cano. Throw to first. Not in time. 6-4. Fielder's choice. First and third. Two out now. For Reese Hoskins. Hoskins has good power. Home run here would make it 10-6. to six. Here's a pitch. A 23 is a blank and a 23 is a ground ball. This is going to be, and it looks like another error. And it's going to be a pop-up in fair territory. Ramos calling for it, and he bobbles it. Oh, and he drops the ball, and that'll that'll score a run. It's going to be an E two. Bases are for its first and second here for Michael Franco. First and second for Michael Franco. Score is 10 to 4. And here's the pitch. It's a 34. 34 is a blank off Ramey, and that's going to be a drive. And that's going to score Harper. It's going to bounce one hop off the wall. Played by Ligaris. And digging for second is Franco, and he slides in there. 
with an RBI to a one out RBI double. I thought there were two outs. There's only one out. There was an error, single ground out. Yeah, only one out. My fault. So, Ramey's getting beaten up here. Second and third now. It's 10 to 5. Here's Cesar Hernandez. Here's the pitch from Ramey. That's a 33. It's a blank on Ramey. That's going to be a ground ball. This would allow a run to score. Playing the infield back. That's bounced to Cano. 4 to 3. Two out. 10 to 6 now. The Phillies have scored four runs here on the top of the seventh. And next is Sean Rodriguez. Here's the pitch. And that's a 56. And a 56 is a ground ball to the shortstop, Rosario. Over to first, and that retires the side. But the Mets with a couple of errors, one by the catcher, one by the shortstop, allow four runs to score. And we go to Ahmed Rosario leading off against Alvarez. Jose Alvarez, here's a pitch. Bottom of the seventh. 66. That's a drive, and that it bounces in front of Quinn. Stroke one, a frozen rope to center. And it looked like Quinn had it in, in his sights, but no, he stopped at the last minute. So that's an, a line drive single to center by Ahmed Rosario. Here's Juan Ligaris. 16, that's a blank, and that's a fly ball. Shallow fly. Left center field, and McCutcheon is right there. And it's a pitcher spot, Ramey. So we're going to get a pinch uh, pinch hitter. Against the lefty, it's going to be J.D. Davis. So it's going to be Jose Alvarez versus Davis. And here's the pitch. It's a 12. A 12 is a blank, and a 12 is a ground ball. It's going to be in the hole. Long throw to Ro for Rodriguez. And nice scoop by Hoskins, and he gets... Davis at first on a 6-3 put out. Two out now. Here's Jeff McNeil. Here's a pitch and a 45. 45 is a blank on Alvarez. And that's going to be a drive. And that's going to split the outfielders. Scoring is Rosario. And into second base standing is McNeil. What a day McNeil's having. McNeil's got four hits, four RBIs, two home runs, three runs scored. Mets are up 11 to 6 now. And again, Alvarez is tired. Here's Conforto. Snake eyes, and that's a walk because he's tired. So first and second. Let's look, and uh, we may have to create a card. Let's see what I got available. Who's up? Uh, it's the is that the bottom of the inning. Oh goodness! It is the pitcher's up next. He's got to get one more out. Let's let him pitch to. Let him pitch to Cano. All right, here goes. It's a 14. A 14 is a blank, and that is potentially a hit by pitch based on balls. It's going to be a walk. And that loads the bases, and here comes Wilson Ramos, a righty. So we're going to have to, oh, let's see what we can do here. Let's see who we got available to us. We don't have a lot. I uh, can't bring Norris yet. Let me. I got Neshek and Dominguez, which I can create real quick. Let's see. Let's create another pitcher card. Let's see. Let's create a pitcher card. Let's go to the stats. Go to Philly stats. All right, we got the Philly stats. And we're going to look at their pitchers. We got to create, uh, I had a bunch of guys here. All right, somebody who pitched a lot of games. Nick Pavetta. But he's, the, he's not on the, the roster right now. That's the issue. So I got to create a guy like... Uh, who did I say I was going to create? Uh, Pat Neshek. He's so let's write his name in. Pat Neshek had a whip of 1.4. So 
So let's find another guy. Uh, let's see. All right, Pat Neshek is a righty. Throws righty. And we are, let's cut this so that we can work on the car a little bit easier. I don't even know if you're seeing any of what, what I'm doing there. There we go. This Pat Neshek's car now. We have to find somebody who's got a one point. What did I say? His, it was a 1.4. So we need somebody who has a 1.4. Similar strikeouts. Okay, and we found a guy who is very similar. Jared Eikhoff. So that's what that's what uh, Pat Neshek's car is going to look. He looks always oh, almost identical to Eikhoff. All right, so let's do that. Now let's look at the home runs allowed per nine innings. Three there, and for Neshek it is three as well. Perfect. All right, so let's see what we're going to do. We're going to do a second base double at 14. Tired home run. A 14 double home run. Home run at 22. And a walk at 44. Let me see. Walks per nine inning. Eikhoff is at three. Meshek is at four. Close enough. We can even give him an extra walk if we need to. So that'll be a walk at 44. And then at 46, first base, one. And doubled if you're tired. Perfect. We got Pat Nishan coming. Problem solved there. I do this a lot more than I've been doing it because I'm running out of players. Especially trying to play regular season as played with the actual rosters and all that, you gotta kind of improvise a little bit, especially in a game like this that nobody really, you know. All right, let's do it. Uh, so Neshek is coming in. We created his card, and it's gonna be Neshek, two outs, bottom of the seventh. Let's look at the scoreboard. Two outs, bottom of the seventh. It's eleven to six. Bases are loaded. Wilson Ramos is at the plate. Going to throw the 2D6. We're going to read the lower one first. Here's a pitch. It's a 46, 46. And that's going to be a base hit. And that will score. We're going to try to score Conforto. And that here's uh, a play at the plate. Quinn with the throw. And he is out. Conforto is thrown out the plate. And um, that ends the inning. But the Mets pick up another run. They lead it 12 to 6. It's a single. And he's safe. And Conforto's out. And that's going to be a 9 to 2 in the inning. All right. Go to the top of the eighth inning now. Let's score another one, top of the eighth. <clears throat> now we're going to go to uh, ah, for the Mets. Who are we going to bring in? Do we need a pitcher for the Mets? Now it's going to be Lugo. No, that's still up by 6. So we're going to bring in uh, Gazelman. So here comes Gazelman. i going to pitch for the Mets. Ramey did not do a good job. Ramey, what did he do? I'll give you his stats. He, Ramey went one inning, gave up two hits, three runs. No earned runs. So... Not really his fault. Here's, um, ah, we have to do, oh, man. All right, we're going to get a pinch hitter. Top of the eighth inning, leading it off. Uh, who's it going to be? It's going to be Williams, Nick Williams. And here's a pitch to Williams from Gazelman. It's a 16. That is a fly ball. And that's the center field of ours. He's right there. Puts it away. One away. Next is Roman Quinn. He's also a homemade car, homebrew car, as you can see. Yeah. 
and it's a 34. 34 is a blank on Gazelman, and 34 is a fly ball. Lifted to center field again. It's Ligaris in left center field. And to a two outs in the eighth inning. The Mets are up six to, uh, 12 to 6. And it's Lawrence McCutcheon. How's he doing, Lawrence McCutcheon? Andrew McCutcheon. All right. Andrew, I think Lawrence McCutcheon was a, a running back for the Cardinals in the 70s. He's 0 for 2 with a couple of one walk and a couple of runs scored. Here's the pitch. It's a 16. The 16 is a blank, and that's a fly ball to left. And McNeil is under it, and that retires the side. Go to the bottom of the eighth inning. New pitcher, it's going to be Norris coming in in the bottom of the eighth. That's who I got. I want to make another card right now. I made a couple already. So Hector Norris is going to pitch to Dom Smith. Here's a pitch. It's a 1 4. It's a blank there. And that is going to be a hit by pitch. So Dominic Smith gets plunked. Next up is Todd Frazier. Here's the pitch. It's a 55. That's a blank. And a 55 is lined. A 1 2 3. And let's see if it's a line out to the second baseman or to the no, it's shortstop. So on a 1, it's double play. Nope. It's a line out. L6. One out. Next is Ahmed Rosario. Here's a pitch. So 16. 16 is a blank, and it's a fly ball. Sky to right field. Right fielder Harper makes the catch, and here's Juan Ligaris. And it's a 34. It's a blank, and a 34 is a drive. Gets a hold of one and drives it to left center field, splits the outfielders. Played by McCutcheon, cuts it off. Smith is going to try to score. And we're going to roll. Here it is. And he is out, out at the plate. McCutcheon to Rodriguez to Ramuto, the second net has been thrown out. Actually, plus three, even a plus three, because he was uh, Smith. What did we say? What did we said it was, uh, it was a double. Smith tried to score on the double. And he is out because Smith is a – oh, a five. Oh, he's safe, safe. So a five plus three is an eight. So he is say I give plus three with two outs. So he scores on the double. The Mets are up 13 to six now. And it's the pitcher, Gazelman. We're going to let him bat and finish this off. Pitcher hitting card is right there. Here's a pitch. It's a 23. No, it's a 25. 25 is a blank. A 25. It's a fly ball to right. Under it is Harper. And that retires the side. Top of the ninth. Last licks for the Phillies. 13 to 6 Mets. Zellman's going to try to go the last three outs. It's going to be Real Muto. Here's a pitch. A 1 3. That's a blank. And the 13 is a ground ball. Bounce to the shortstop, Rosario. Better hurry. Throw to first and in time. Nice stretch by Dominic Smith over there. That's a 33, and a 33 is a blank, and a 33 is a drive over the center fielder's head. And Harper into second base with a one-out double. Reese Hoskins steps in the box, 23. That's a blank there. 23 is ground ball. Could be an error. It is not sure-handed Cano. Throws him, throws him out. Two outs now. So the Mets are one out away from victory. The Phillies are down to their last out here in the top of the ninth inning. Mets are up 13 to six. What a crazy game this has been. Here's a pitch from Gazelman. It's a 36. 36 a blank. 36 a fly ball. Popped high, shallow, left field. Racing is McNeil, and McNeil gets there. And ball game is over. 
Victory goes to Jason Vargas. Loss goes to Vince Velasquez, both two and one. Jeff McNeil is the star of the game. Let's look over this, look at this box score. Uh, Mets are now 15 and nine. The Phillies dropped to 10 and 14. Hoskins had a couple of hits, and so did Real Muto. Franco drove in two runs for the Phillies. For the Mets, it, again, it was O'Neill with a four for five day with four RBIs, two home runs. And Conforto had a couple of hits, as did uh, Ramos, Smith, Rosario, and Ligaris. And uh, let's look at Vargas is two and one now. Is he already still around seven? And Velasquez is two and one with an ERA similar, almost around seven as well. And home runs for the game. McNeil, his second, no, two, his eighth. Um, Conforto, his eighth. Frazier, his second. And uh, Ligaris, his first. So that's it, guys. This is Tony Porter. This is Cards and Dice TV. I hope you enjoyed our presentation of what is on base baseball. And next I'll be going to uh, probably some history maker. I'm not sure what I'll be doing next, but I will keep you uh, informed. And uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, you know, if you have any comments or or questions or anything like that, you are you know welcome to do that. And I'll see you soon.